For almost 10 years, Mandy Moore has followed her dreams and made a name for herself as both an actress and a singer. Right now, she's making news on both CD called Wild Hope and a new movie, Licensed to Wed, which opens next week. She's a very busy young lady, but stop by to see us. Mandy Moore, good to have you back. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on everything that's going on. Thank you very much. And you have really been at this a while, since you were 15. <laughs> <laughs> but it's old hat to me now, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes, at the, t at the old age of 23, right? <laughs> but you've really taken control. Of your career on a number of levels. Why now? Uh, well, I feel like I've really come into my own, especially over the last year or so. I've, I, I signed a record deal when I was 14, so in a way I've always felt like I've been in an adult world and had the responsibilities that many people my age don't have. But um, I, just recently, I, I really felt that like I have to be behind everything that I do 150%. We talked about how you got started at such a young age, and you look at other people who also got started as a young age, and some of them have run into problems if it's problems with the law or they've sure. been in rehab. Um, you've had none of that. And I'm just wondering, what is it inside you that keeps you so grounded? Um, I guess it's a testament to my family. That's what I usually say, because it is. I mean, it's the foundation for everything. Um, but I have wonderful friends and people in my life. And I just, I think that I genuinely feel so lucky to get to do what I do that there's part of me that would never do anything that would jeopardize this, you know, this opportunity. And it's not my, my cup of tea, really, at the end of the day anyway. I work really hard at what I do. I'm just I'm tired at the end of the day. Your new movie is called License to Wed, yes. and you work with John Krasinski from The Office. I did. And you guys are engaged. Mm -hmm. You want to get married in the church of your dreams. Yeah. Uh, the Reverend is played by Robin Williams, who's a man yes, that you really respect, but he is making you go through this kind of pre-cana, pre-marriage. Yeah, this crazy marriage prep course that's right. mandatory in order for us to get married by him. And of course, it being Robin Williams, it's like the most unbelievable, ridiculous, absurd certain tests. One of the things he makes you do is do role playing. So let's take a look at a clip, okay? <laughs> okay. You're angry and you're cold and you're really, you want to tear each other apart. Go. I thought that I was following the road signs pretty well, just going with the flow as usual. Just going along for the ride. Who was? You. As me. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm not really sure how anything gets done if people aren't following my very specific instructions. That's how things get done around here? Good. I had no idea how things got done around here. Thank you for telling you? me. Counter no, I have it actually. He no, said counterclockwise. I'm in charge. I, I can got do it. it. I have I got it under it. control. <laughs> That's a fun scene. <laughs> what was it like working with Robin Williams? Um, exactly what you would expect it to be. I mean, he's just incredible and such a gem of a person, but he has a lot of energy. And you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I mean, he's a comedic genius. So I knew in the movie, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm the straight man. Like, I'm the girl. I just sort of sit back. And I had a free stand-up show every day on set. It was perfect. You had this crazy scene where you guys, he wanted to show you what it was like to be parents, and you walked around with mechanical babies. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? Did you oh, learn anything well, about motherhood? Was that a, I don't know, a preview at all? Um, <laughs> if it's a preview, then I think I can wait quite a while. It was no fun. Those babies were like temperamental. I think more so than regular what? children would be. <laughs> they were freaky to look at too. <laughs> all right, let's talk about your new album. Yes. Um, you co-wrote all the songs I did. on the album. What did you set out to do? Um, I set out to make a, a, a pop record like that I could listen to. <laughs> I've been pretty vocal about not liking some of the um, my, my past efforts musically, but um, I got to co-write with a bunch of incredible like indie artists, the Weepies, Laurie McKenna, Rachel Yamagata, people that I really love and respect, and I think it just added this sort of folk, sort of alt-country pop element that um, I'm really proud of. And you've been pretty forthcoming saying that you were coming off a breakup and some other issues, and you went into sure. a dark place for a while. Yeah. It's looking at Sonny Mandy Moore is, is kind of hard to imagine, but everybody goes through those periods. No, was it cathartic to do the album? Well, I'm a pretty upbeat sort of person, so I was kind of confused as to why this, this period sort of hit me out of nowhere, but I found it really therapeutic and very, very cathartic to write, and I, I, I think it was just my, my way of sort of dealing with stuff, and um, I, can't, I look forward to like writing for the next record already. I'm like, oh, I have so much material now, and I have this, this perfect outlet for it. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. we're happy for everything that's happening Thank to you. you, all your projects, and come back soon, okay? Definitely. Mandy Moore.